Show this new blood where the rest of the whelps sleep. New blood? Oh, I remember you. Come on, follow me. Yes? I guess I'm the new you blood. Again. Hey, everybody. Logman plays here. Today we're playing a little bit of Skyrim. Um, but they're good people. But that's just sort of what I'm playing. Um, I wanted to ask you guys some stuff and just give you like a little update. And I haven't played Skyrim in a long time. I'm more, I'm much more of a uh, Fallout guy, I would say. Um, so I just got Skyrim again, and it's been super fun to play for a little bit. I just started a new game, and I'm joining the companions. Oh, let's talk to him real quick. Come to me or Ayala if you're looking for work. Okie dokie, Roger Okie. a bit of a name for yourself. Skior She's got Lucas a cool helmet. Have things for you to do. Roger, Roger. Good luck. Welcome to the Companions. By the way, if you're looking for something to do, we've got trouble right here at Whiterun Hold. Nothing we can't handle. You got it. Nothing but a bunch of lonely... I know you could be... I'll take care of it, don't we? Do what must be done. Do what must be done. Alright, trouble in Skyrim. So, uh, I'm gonna call this, uh, the bathrobe, bathrobe talking, because I'm currently in my bathrobe, and I'm pretty comfy, I'm a very, I'm a guy who likes to get comfortable, you know, um, I'm gonna move my mic a little bit over, I really like, like, hot tea, like, I love, um, love, like, a good coffee, I love soothing music, like, jazz or electronic music, just any sort of assorted stuff like that and uh i'm actually gonna wait until morning one thing that i've missed about uh something that's not in fallout 4 is the waiting system and i'm so glad that i can do that again because for a second i thought i needed to find a bed or like a uh, or a um i'm gonna look on where this is on the map actually oh dang that's pretty far away all right, I'm on it. Um, I like I like that the weight system is now. It's not now because this game is is older. <laughs> um, I'm glad that I can use the weight waiting system again instead of having to find a table or having to find like a chair or like a bed to sleep in. Um, but so I really wanted to ask you guys about what stuff that gets you comfortable. If that makes sense, like, what is um, what do you what what is something that you do that you find comforting? If that makes sense, I don't know. Just anything, anything that you like that is uh, that's cool. Like, I like tea and like wearing pajamas and warm socks and like that's something I find really comforting. We're gonna try to avoid that uh, giant camp right there. And so yeah, so this is so this is this is gonna be the bathrobe bathrobe hour. Wow, that guy has some huge horns. Oh, he spotted me. <laughs> um, it's gonna be the bathrobe hour. You know, it's just all about the comfortability. And I thought, like, what's a better game to like sort of like get like immersed and like it's it's just you know I feel good playing Skyrim. I feel I feel like very peaceful because I don't know I like the woods a lot. I like exploring. And, uh, something about Skyrim, you know? It's a very peaceful, very, uh, atmospheric, very, um, it's just a nice game. It's just, it's just good. Me and Allison have played a good amount of, uh, ooh, get those mushrooms. I played a good, oh, that's a doggy. Oh, that wasn't peaceful in the slightest, but okay. <laughs> um, you know what I'm saying, like, it's a, it's, besides the fighting, it's a very, you know, it's like open world, open, uh, Lots to explore, lots of woodsy, cool areas that are nice. Just a good, good time. So, yeah. I'm trying to think about this. Oh. This is so intense, the, like, that motion of picking them up. One thing that I've also, I'm liking about a Fallout... <laughs> Crap. Now, the one thing that I'm liking about, um, what is that? Oh, mud crabs. I'll go ahead and take care of these guys. Whamp. Whamp. Is there another one? No. 
Um, one thing that I'm liking about Skyrim is that you can you can still have uh, your your health refills on its own. So in Fallout 4, you got to get a perk to do that, and none of the other Fallout games have a sort of refilling health bar. I don't know if Oblivion or Morrowind has it, but I like the refilling health. I think it's nice. All right, oh, let's get these flowers. Need more flowers. Um, so to tell a story about something I did that was cool and relaxing is I went for a drive on the Blue Ridge Parkway, which is oh, open large sack. Get some tomatoes. You know I'm taking all those tomatoes. Oh, that's an empty sack. Apples. I'm gonna go ahead and eat one of those apples actually, because you know who doesn't like a good apple? Yum. Um. So I recently went to. Uh, I took a drive. Oh man, I don't want to hurt the dog. Oh jeez, this dog is empty. Um. I need to um. Put my. Also, side note. Ooh, nice. Okay, okay. This is an intense archery battle. Uh-oh, uh -oh. I see you're peeking around there. Oh, crap. Oh, come on. Got a leader. I watched some gameplay for... God, I am terrible at the... There it is. Um, hunting bow. Heck yeah. Gold, and I'll take those and that. Thank you. Um, unfavorite that. Use that and equip that. Um, so recently I saw some gameplay for um, Far Cry uh, Primal. And that looked super duper cool. And, um, I don't know why, but the. Oh, that looks awesome. The, uh, arrow? The, like, the bow and arrow they had in there. It, it looked like it felt really nice to use. Which way am I supposed to go here? This way. Um, let me put that armor on. Oh, I didn't realize you could hit with your boat. That actually took me by surprise. Um, the... Alright, here we go. Okay, close quarters. Arrow, action. I didn't... Uh, I'm in a bad way. I need to... I need to equip the... Whoops. There it is. Alright, here we go. Let's get out of here. Oh, jeez. Okay. Uh, items. Potions. Uh, let's get back into more open place. Get him out of there. Stop that. Oh, jeez. I'm very low on health. Uh, backing up, backing up, backing up, backing up. Items, potions. Just keep hitting them. Come on, just die. Just die, man. Just die. Yes, finally. Whew. Nah. I do want that, though. Nah. Oh, wait. I want that axe. That was intense. I'm taking, I'm taking your, your mushrooms. 
Gold. Nah. Um. Oh, this place is neato. Let's go and take a quick, quick rest. Far so, hang on, I'm sorry. <laughs> what Far Cry Primal had that I really liked was it had a bow and arrow that felt a lot better than the bows and arrows in stuff like like Skyrim. Skyrim's feels a little flimsy. Um, whoa, that's pretty cool. Uh, but I like my hood, though. Betty Soldier, I'll take that, I'll take that, I'll take that. Treasure map! That's what I'm looking for. Oh, it's got some value, so I'll take that as well. Um, but so, look up, look up Far Cry Parmal. Take those apples, all of those. And just look at the gameplay of it, if you can. And look at, um... Look at sort of the... I'm gonna take those stairs. The arrows, or the, um, the bow and arrow, and it just feels heavier. I don't know if it's it's because it kills the enemies faster or something, but... Or if it just, like, looks bigger, but when they were using that, like, in the gameplay, I think I saw, uh, like, a Chief Hunter's gameplay, it just felt a lot more, like, like, it had a little more, like, oh, like, kind of, and I just, I don't know, I liked that a lot, I thought that was a very, uh, it didn't feel as flimsy as other sort of, um, bone arrows that I've seen in games, and I saw that, and I was like, man, like, I wanna, I now wanna play a game that has, like, a cool, like, bone arrow, and so, I thought, uh, so, like, look at this, so, like, this, it's pretty good, but it also feels kind of weight. It feels like flimsy. Like, look how thin the arrow is and stuff. Um, but I don't know. I could, if you, if you, if you have different thoughts on that, please, please tell me, because I don't know if I'm just sort of speaking gibberish. But the other thing I wanted to talk about was my cool drive that I took the other day on the Blue Ridge Parkway. I live in the mountains of North Carolina, and they are quite beautiful. And there's a uh, older highway here called the oh <gasps> whoa mammoths wow those are awesome hello goodbye and while i was on the blue ridge parkway i had originally started looking for this thing called the lynn cove viaduct which is this really cool um sort of older bridge i don't want to mess with any giants that guy's just doing his own thing. I don't want him to mess his thing up. Um, it's this really big... Oh, I want to see if I can... Uh, that would be so cool. Nothing. Maybe I... Oh, okay. I guess so. Um, one thing that's really cool about the Linko Viaduct is that it's this big, big sort of bridge. It's called a viaduct because it it goes around... I don't actually know what viaduct means off the top of my head. That's probably something I should know. But, um, it goes around the side of this mountain and just makes it easier to travel around it and whatnot. And it really helped people sort of access, um, the Watauga and Boone area, which is where I live. And it just made things easier. Plus, it was just a really cool, uh, sort of feat of mechanical engineering and people really dug that so really really neat and I was driving on that and I ended up taking the wrong way and going to this place called it was like Jeffrey Park or something like that and um, it had this really really pretty it had an old cabin it was like a recreation of what they would have done like how they would have listened to church sermons and stuff like back in the uh near the 1800s 1900s and it was like a really cool like little cabin that they had there and um some like little like shacks and like a sign explaining stuff like i love history um and it was really cool to see sort of just examples of like what was going on what's this place Ooh, the huntsman the drunken huntsman that's a cool place and um it's just really neat seeing that. And then they also had this, uh, they had like these, this co really cool waterfall. I don't know what the name of the waterfall was, but 
It was super duper neat. And, um... I'll put some pictures up if I can. It was just so cool. I don't know, something about, like, just, like, hiking and just getting, like, close to nature and being, like, out in the air, like, the fresh air. It feels really, really nice. And... And my brother has his smarts. Oh, I'm giving this to you. Okay. Some people don't. Another job well done. Your payment is secure. Thanks, man. And yet my thanks. Skior was looking for you earlier. All right, I'll talk to them. Trouble in Skyrim. Don't know. What does he want? He just said he needed. I don't like making him angry. You but got there it. There is some work it's for you if you want it. But strength doesn't. Got it. Um. Well, no. I'm just saying there's more to defend. But just like getting muscle. close to nature and stuff. There you are. I did. Your Last week, a scholar came to him. He seemed a fool to me. But if he's right, the honor of the companions demand that we seek it out. This is a simple errand, but the time is right, right for, for it to, to be, be your trial. Farkas will be your sheep. He'll answer, try not to disappoint. Oh, cool. So I have like a companion. Or to get him killed. Okie dokie. All right. So um, next time on Logman Plays, uh, I'll finish my story about more nature-y stuff as well as um do more of these quests i really like the companions so far they're cool guys and uh we will keep doing more quests for them and i'll keep talking about stuff that i like on the next time on uh robe talk or bathrobe time whatever you want to call it just comfortable chat time this is logman signing off